Breaking news on October 8th, 2024 at 12 noon central time. The silver price is crashing at minimum. We can say the silver price is down horrifically today. You want to know why. I've dug in. I have the reason why for you. We're going to talk about that in this video. And we're going to talk about even more importantly, should you, should I, as people who've put some of our hard-earned wealth into silver, into gold, into precious metal mining stocks. How concerned should we be? I think you're going to like what I have to say. But first, let's shift over and take a look at what's going on right now in the silver market because it is not pretty. We have silver trading at $30.55. This is a five-day chart of the silver price that you're seeing on your screen right now. Guys, we were as high as $33. This was what, last Friday of last week. Today is Tuesday. In three days, we've basically dropped from $33 all the way down to $30.54. It has not been a fun ride over the last few days for silver investors. But what a great opportunity for me to mention to you that if you are in the market to buy some physical silver or gold or platinum group metals for that matter, please uh, check out our channel sponsor, Pimbex. One thing I can tell you for sure right now is if you buy some silver today, you're getting it for a much better price than you would have gotten it for yesterday. Pimbex always has a great selection, hard to beat prices, Right? In a company that you can trust, you know, I've worked with them myself personally for over the last one year. So why is the price of silver dropping? It's very, very simple. It has everything to do with China. Let's go over to Reuters and uh, take a look at this article. Uh, the Hong Kong Hang Sang Index plunged by 10% last night. This is massive. This all has to do with perceived Chinese demand for silver and gold. But their Hang Seng Index dropping 9.4% is its biggest drop since 2008. Guys, since the great financial crisis, as it erased, and but why did it drop? And what does that have to do with silver? We'll get into that. As it erased uh, its big gains made during a Chinese holiday, after, here's the reason why, economic planner Zhang Shangji told reporters China was, quote, fully confident of achieving economic targets for 2024 and would pull forward 200 billion yuan from next year's budget to spend on investment projects and support local governments. But a failure to sufficiently detail new or large measures sparked concerns about Beijing's commitment to pull the economy out of its current slump. This, this, this horrible day that we're having in the silver market has everything to do with China. And the fact that the market did not get what it wanted. It was kind of like when we have a Fed announcement here in the United States. Everyone in China was on pins and needles to see what the Chinese government would say about stimulus going forward because the Chinese economy is in pretty bad shape and the Chinese authorities did not deliver. And they had their worst day since 2008 in their stock market. We are in very, very volatile times. Now, this is also going to impact the price of copper. Because remember, like we've talked about exhaustively recently, a silver price has been very much related to the copper price. And here at CEO.ca, we can see the copper price also is down two and a half percent. Boy, silver is really taking the brunt of the damage today. Gold down 1.4 percent. So should we be concerned? How concerned should we be? Sorry, my nose is itching. One of the cats showed up here in the basement. But this is a live breaking uh, video that I'm doing unedited for you because this is huge, huge news. How concerned should we be? I'm not so concerned about Chinese demand destroying the silver price. When we look at the other factors involved, is this a great opportunity day for those crooks at the COMEX in the LBMA, the London Bullion Market Association, to orchestrate a massive tamp down, a massive smash in particular in the silver price. We know they've been manipulating down the silver price for years and years. 
The other thing we have to consider, right, some good factors, things working in our favor right now with the silver price. Let me just read the list to you quickly. Don't forget, we still have this massive short position on the silver market that's going to need to be undone. Americans and Westerners are just now starting to wake up to the silver story. We could have a new wave of Western investors coming in to support the silver price. All these companies throughout the world, they're still going to need silver. Samsung. What about this Chinese car company, BYD? I was just talking with somebody about that's a company none of us have ever heard of. They're making unbelievable, like 400,000 electric vehicles in the month of September alone. They're going to be using tens of hundreds of millions of ounces of silver just for one company in one country, an electric car company in China. Russia is talking about buying silver. No, nothing there, right? Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, in the big money, the hedge funds, the sovereign wealth funds, when they come in, it's going to be huge. And we don't even know how much silver is going to be used and is being used by the military industrial complex, not just in the United States, but all over the world. Two final points I want to make to you when we talk about silver. Silver is the widow maker, okay? It is a very volatile, it has massive price swings up and down. The volatility can be our friend. Days like today, the volatility medicine doesn't taste too good. We're down $1.50 in the silver price. That's no fun, right? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm having a great day when I'm looking at the silver price. None of us are. We're not alone, but also this volatility works in both directions. And I'm telling you, the reason why we don't want to be afraid of the volatility is that when it works in our favor to the upside, like it has been and like it will continue to do in the future, the volatility will be our friend. And I'll leave you with this reminder, right? Because I fail, I fail miserably in this area as well. At the end of the day, we can't think of this. We can't think of our silver, right? We can't think of this in terms of dollar value anyway. We want to think of this in terms of ounces. Measure your wealth in terms of ounces of gold, ounces of silver. Trust me, if your great, 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 great grandpa from 148 years ago or 300 years ago had done that, thought of his wealth in terms of ounces of silver, in terms of ounces of gold, guess what? You'd be an extremely wealthy person right now. Likely, your grandpa fell for what 99% of the current Americans, <laughs> the sheep will fall for, believing that paper, believing that other things were valuable. At the end of the day, think of your gold, think of your silver, think of your platinum, whatever floats your boat in terms of ounces of wealth. That's what's going to last for generations and generations. Hey, thanks for being here. I want to say thank you to channel sponsor First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada and Fortuna Mining. They've got active mining operations, silver and gold in Latin America, gold in West Africa. Thanks for being here. Hang in there. Everything's going to be okay. This little Chinese bump in the road is just that, a bump in the road. I'll look forward to seeing you next time here in the basement. Don't forget, you want to get some silver right now on sale? Check out channel sponsor, Pimbex. They'll take good care of you. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.